So the brand product. So we sell titanium cookware and drinkware uh, for the outdoors. Uh, cups, porks, uh, pans, grills, everything made in titanium. And we call that uh, survival grade uh, cookware and drinkware because it can be used in emergency survival situation or in regular uh, outdoor activities like camping, bushcraft or anything uh, like that. So I would say the products are more for uh, uh, experienced outdoor people, people who are serious about going into the wilderness, who spend a, a good amount of time in it, uh, more than the casual camper. So we're thinking about wilderness trippers, backpackers, hikers, uh, people who need very reliable, very lightweight, lightweight cookware. Our customers want to be prepared for everything. So that's really the mindset of Cook and Escape. When you're buying those products, uh, you're buying the right equipment for what you need to do. Uh, you're going to be able to carry them because they are light. You're going to be able to, to put them over the fire to boil water. Um, and you're gonna, they're going to be strong enough to, to, to endure the, the trail. So what's a brand mission? So the brand mission is to make people confident to venture in the wilderness. So we love wilderness, of course. I live in the Yukon and in Canada, and it's wild everywhere. So that's why we decided that, uh, because it can be very intimidating to, to, to go into the wilderness, um, our customer needed to be prepared for adversity. Because I mean, adversity is a sure thing. So you can die out there. So you need really to have three things to be prepared. So you need the right attitude, the right mindset. So I would say it's a mix of wisdom, common sense, courage. And it's something, it's a personal development thing. It's something that you have to, to improve all the time. Um, so for us, in every way, having the right mindset is more important than any gear you will have. So you, you need the right mindset. And with that, you need the right knowledge. You need to have the right skills. So you need to, for whatever you do, you, you need to know how to backpack. You need to know how to cross a river. You need to know the plants around you because you could need to eat them. You need, of course, how to make a fire or, or to make a shelter boil water uh, and you know you need to need well you need to know about the behavior of animals wildlife too because it could save your life and of course lastly you need the right gear and uh, for us uh, it's titanium for cookware and uh, drinkware escape we try to to provide the best quality cookware because we know that uh, far from home, uh, you're going to need the best equipment uh, because it's one more thing to worry about. And of course, we also provide some, you know, social media feeds, some wilderness advice, um, some knowledge and, and, and some wisdom too. Because in the end, that's our mission. We want to improve people's confidence both in themselves and in the, the equipment they carry. So in that sense, I will say we are more than an hardware brand, we are a personal development brand. So why titanium? It's because we think it's a metal from the future and for the future. It's ridiculously lightweight and it's yet very, very strong. And it's also the perfect metal for long journeys. It's also resistant to time, resistant to elements. It won't deform, it won't rust. So that improve. Uh, uh, I would say that if aluminum and stainless steel had a baby, it would be titanium. Uh, because titanium is just as lightweight as aluminum and almost as strong as steel. So the other advantage 
is that it doesn't leak harmful chemicals for your body like other metals do uh, so you should do your due diligence and check which metals are dangerous for you but one thing is sure that titanium, titanium is safe it's used in many medical applications, dentistry and etc. So it's not toxic and uh, it will inhibit the growth of bacteria. So it's good for the human body. And of course, titanium um, well, it implies minimizing your ecological impact. So we try to avoid plastics uh, and we want a material like titanium that lasts much longer and won't pollute uh, as much as plastics and that are uh, naturally, I mean titanium is naturally present in many things already and it can be recycled. Of course titanium is not unbreakable, uh, it's uh, like in popular culture, in, in songs, in movies, we like to think that titanium as uh, the, the strongest metal but it's not. I mean, it's not coming out of a Marvel movie. It's uh, it's coming out from it's a real metal, um, and it's uh, yeah, it's very strong, but nothing unbreakable here. So, what product vision do we have? So, we want to offer tried and true products with a twist. We believe in the timeless designs. We also believe we can and we should improve them. So we work on products that are lightweight, strong, portable, non-toxic, easy to clean but yet elegant, multi-purpose, durable, and we try at all costs to avoid plastic. So I test myself a lot of our products, uh, very often in very harsh, extreme condition, condition of the Yukon and uh, so the, the products go in the snow, in the cold, in the rain, in the campfires and uh, well, if the equipment survives my test uh, it should be good enough for your own uh, expeditions. I really like the simplicity of titanium, its color, its uh, overlook, its uh, elegance and the fact that it's uh, super lightweight and that uh, and useful in, in the end, you know, when nothing, nothing too much added in, in that design. Um, that's just perfect for what you need. Titanium is so titanium cookware is so simple. It can be very difficult to improve on it. So, but I think we, we succeed in it. So I can show you an example of it in the mountain top pot. Um, because we made it very, very classy and yet very useful with simple innovations. So I can show you that. You see, so it uh, looks like a regular pot with a bell handle and butterfly handles, but it also has a very useful pan lid on the top. So you can use the thing as a lid here, but you can also use it as a pan. So great design overall. So yes, the mountain top pot, that's how we call it.